Mario is asking, any thoughts on OpenAI's Dale, Dale, <laughs> maybe it's pronounced differently, uh, Dale to AI uh, that can take a description you write in a text and instantly create an accurate image of it. So I went to go look at this AI's website and it looks really cool. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's something that's on the market yet. They just had kind of little examples of how this would work. But um, yeah, it, it was really cool, a little piece of technology. So they had examples where you could click on different things you would write in a text. So it would be like um, uh, teddy bears, no, a soup that is made out of the universe in a Andy Warhol style. And you could click around and switch it to be like an Andy Warhol style to like a hyper realistic style like and it would just auto generate these images to stylistically match all those things that you put out. See, I don't know. Seems cool. Okay, I don't. Um, I'm not aware enough about AI technology to understand whether this is way above what we could already do with AI or or is it just putting together what we already can do with AI. Do you know what I mean? The difference? Um, so for it, example, I mean, AI- It seems to be some AI, level of progression of what we can already do. I know, I know, but I'm just saying like, I think I need to, to be able to understand the significance of how big of a leap this is in the future. I think we need to, it takes more technical understanding of the mechanisms behind what's happening for us to be able to understand like there's some things that will be so obvious that oh my god this is such a leap forward right but for this i think like i need we need to know a little bit more because based on no studying on what's happening here it could be like okay well ai could already understand what we're saying and what we're saying could already be turned turn, turned into commands mm. and if you just put these together you get this right so, but maybe, maybe there's something more happening here that I'm not just aware of. Mario is saying this is a breakthrough and many artists on Twitter were actually scared because if you can just say, oh, I want a drawing with all of these subjects and in this specific location and with this and with these details and have a computer automatic and, and in this style, in the style of Leonardo da Vinci and a computer can just automatically generate it for you. You don't necessarily need the services of an individual artist. If I was an individual mm. artist, I'd be working hard to be, you know, developing my own style. Because if you have a very unique style, it, the AI won't, you know, automatically or very quickly be able to replicate that. Versus Vermeer, like yeah. AI can already do Vermeer. Right. Um, can they do uh, blasphemous art? Probably. Okay, Actually, so they well, don't do adult content. Well, the big well, that somebody better make another one that can. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, uh, hey guys! If you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.